Hi, this is Ashlyn with Bellevue Avenue and Ashlyn May Photography and I am going to give you a quick overview on the new Resplendent collection Photoshop Actions. So this collection consists of two sets, the Luminous set and the Glow set. And the entire collection was designed to give more vibrant and colorful, bright and luminous edits to your images. The Luminous set gives you a strong foundation for your edits. It has beautiful foundation actions that kind of set the foundation for your image by cleaning up your image and giving it a pop and a depth that it otherwise wouldn't have. And some of them have very little toning, some of them have more color toning, more creative toning. And in the Luminous set you also have portrait brushes and that section is a lot of fun and gives you pretty much every tool you need to retouch in your image. We also have background brushes in the Luminous set to give different colorful and brightening background brushes. There are also specialty tools that will help in your edits such as Creamy Glow, Diamond Glow which give a really dreamy looking effect to your image. The Creamy Dark Vignette will make a beautiful dark vignette. Punchy Pop gives a nice little contrast pop. Highlight Recover will bring back the detail in your highlights. Crushed Highlights will give muted highlights. And Dynamic Range is a fun tool that really brings out a lot of detail throughout the shadows and highlights of the image. You'll also have the light washes and hazes which give a beautiful soft airy touch to your image and there are several different tones for that. Then to top it off we have color shifts which give a number of different color toning actions that you can use to fine tune or color tone your image. And then lastly in the luminous set you have the resize and sharpening tools for Facebook and for print. So with the set, how we designed it was to use one foundation and then you build on top of it with the different portrait brushes, background brushes, specialty tools, as well as the glow actions. You can build on top of the luminous with the glow actions. However, if you want to, the all-in-one glow actions are similar to the foundations. They don't have quite the same cleanup effect, but they can be used all alone. These are more creative and colorful, so they are different from the foundations in that the foundations are a little bit more neutral cleaning up actions and the all-in-one glows are very creative foundations. You could use these glow actions as a more creative base for your image. Also in the Glow Set are a lot of creative tools that are incredibly fun, such as the different sunbursts. We have a lot of different options here. Paint on light and peek through colors, as well as quite a number of essential brushes. So the sheer sunbursts, they're not very creamy, they're just kind of sheer bursts of light that you can use. The creamy sunbursts have more of a creamy look to them like this and the Vivid are very, well like it says, Vivid, very strong and piercing. And then we have Directional Light. Okay, so there's an example. And then we have Paint on Light. You can hand paint wherever you want the light onto your image. Okay, and then one that I love are the peek through colors. And these are a lot of fun because they can add a foreground element to your image to give your image a sense of depth. So in this image, since it's kind of brownish, I would probably use wheat. So here's our little peek through ball. So you could move it off to the side or over here somewhere and it looks as if you're shooting through some of that dry grass foliage. Okay, and then lastly are the essential brushes, and there are quite a number in here that you can play with. We have Bright Pop, Simple Contrast, Deep Contrast, Midtone Light, Color Boost, Warm Up, Cool Down, Desaturate, Color Cast Fix, White Recovery, Black Recovery, which both of those bring details back into the black and whites, Greener Grass, which gives a really vibrant green, and then Cooler Grass, which really cools them down and gives a more uh, bluish tone and then bluer skies and lastly smooth it out. So let's go ahead and edit this image using the collection. This first image is going to be a simple 
edit and then the next image will be a bit more complex so that I can show you how far you can take this set. Okay, so for this image we're going to go ahead and run Elixir and you'll see how the foundations really just give a nice quick pop and clean up your image. Okay, so there's that before and after. And then I want to add a bit of light here so I'm going to use from the glow set the whipped cream creamy light. And I'm going to move it about over here and control T to make it a little bit bigger and there we go. And then I want to do a couple of the peek throughs. So we're going to use wheat like I said before because of the brownish colors. So we'll put a few here. Control J duplicates it. So I'm going to move that about over here and put a few over here too. So that's all I did to that image and let's see before and after. Before and after. So that was super easy and it really gives it a beautiful pop and soft dreamy look to the image. Okay, so let's go to another image and this next one will be a bit more complex because I want to show you, like I said, how far you can go with this set. Okay, again, oh, I really like on this image Elixir. So let's run that. Okay, so see it gives a nice pop to that image. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the all-in-one portrait to kind of smooth out his skin just a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to use a white, a soft white brush at 100% and make sure my black mask is selected. Then I'm going to brush over the skin, just smooth it a bit. Next I'm going to use the peachy glow brush to brighten the skin. Then I'm going to use the blushing cheeks and lip brush and bring the flow down to probably seven. Just add a little bit of pink to his cheeks right there. And that's all I'm going to do on that, so before and after. Okay, next let's use the punchy pop. And I don't want it that bright, so I'm just going to go in here and turn off the contrasty. So before and after. Gives it a little bit of a pop. Now in this image, the greens to me just look too yellow, so I'm going to use that cooler grass and trees action. And I'm going to just brush it on at 100% on all of these, all of the greenery. Okay, so before and after. And I'm going to bring the opacity down just a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to use a background brush to brighten it up just a little bit around right here. And I'm going to use Emerald Glimmer. Just to give it kind of a soft, glowy look back there. Next, let's use that creamy dark vignette. I love this. It really gives a beautiful, beautiful finish to the images. Before and after. I'm going to brush off a little bit just right there. So my black brush. Okay, let's do some peek throughs. And I'm going to use, since we have green in this image, I'm going to use the foliage peek through which is green and then I'm going to use the wood peek through to match this wood here. Okay, let's do foliage first. Control J duplicates it. I'm going to put just a tiny bit right there. And then wood. And we'll move this up and over just about right there. 
Okay, so we'll group those together so you can see how that gives depth to the image by creating foreground elements, so before and after. Now let's do crushed highlights. That really tones down the highlights. See how bright they are before and then after? Okay, but I'm going to brush it off his face a little bit. So I have a black brush and I'm just going to brush it off here in this foliage right here to keep it bright and interesting, but we want to tone down these highlights and on the top of his hat. Okay, so before and after. Okay, now let's use the dynamic range tool and I'm going to bring that down to 50% and see how that gives greater detail back into the image. And lastly, we're going to do some sunbursts in here. So let's go ahead and do peach smoothie. I'm going to move this. These are movable sunbursts, which are super fun. So I'm going to move that about right in here. And I'm going to lower that opacity down to about 70-ish. Then we're going to do lava, just to give it a greater, more saturated look. Okay, now I'm going to group them together and add a layer mask. Choose a black, soft black brush, and I'm going to brush some of it off his face because the light wouldn't be wrapped around on this side if it was coming from that direction. Okay, so that's the edit. Let's look at the before and after. Before and after. So that's a quick view of the Resplendent collection and we will be doing a few more tutorials that you can check out and we also have some guest edits from photographers on our YouTube page and on our blog so please check those out for further examples of how to use the set. We hope you enjoy the tutorial and that you enjoy the new Resplendent collection.